Hello everyone, my name is Hassan, and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Meaning. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. In this video, we're gonna talk about SnowSight, a service provided by Snowflake that enables us to create dashboards and worksheets from the databases we have created or have access to. We access this from the Preview app button, and as you can see, we have different tabs for worksheets, dashboards, data, monitor, and admin. For this tutorial, we're gonna import the COVID-19 database from the marketplace and this database is provided by Star Schema. If you search for it in this search bar, you can see it on the left side, or the right side, sorry. This one. And in case you haven't loaded this database before, you will see a get button instead of the view database. And of course, uh, you have access to this from the free trial account provided by Snowflake. After you click on the get database, you will be able to see it in the loaded database tab here. This one, the Snowflake Star Schema. And for creating dashboards, we're gonna go to the dashboard tab and click on the create a new dashboard. We'll create the COVID-19 demo dashboard. And here you can see an empty tiles where a tile is a box that, in that includes a visualization for the query or the data we have extracted from the database. So we're gonna create our first tile. You can see here the database is selected. And from the bottom, if you click on the schema, you're able to search for tables available. We have over 43 tables provided by this database. You can click on any table and on any on any database and you can see those metadata pinned, pinned here. You can also click on preview to check the values. We're gonna unpin those tables and search for the who daily report and includes uh, total COVID-19 cases per country and over global uh, and over global uh, over, over all the world also. So we're gonna import we're gonna query all this table. And if you notice when we run this query, two additional uh, buttons appear down here, the results, which uh, shows the results of our executed uh, query and the chart tab that we're gonna go into it in a bit. So for this tab, we're gonna extract the total number of cases globally. We're gonna filter this by country region to be equal to global. And we only need the country region column and the cases total run the query now we'll be able to see table for this typo so this is the uh, the result of the executed query if you go to the chart tab you have different chart types we're gonna choose for this one the scorecard which is like a value box that shows the number of uh, the executed query. You can select which column to show here. And when you click on return to COVID-19, let's, let's click on run. And if you return to the COVID-19 demo, you can see it on the dashboard. We will also change the label of the tile from edit query from the same worksheet actually, and we'll call it the global cases. Go back to COVID-19. Let's create another tile. And now we're gonna check a table for uh, vaccination. Let's search for it. It's the OVID vaccinations. It has the daily vaccinations per country. I'm gonna get my SQL query. I've 
tried before and instead of setting a hard-coded date range we're gonna set this field a date range that is a filter interactive date range selection filter provided by snowflake uh, from this worksheet so you can see up there from the worksheet we have this filter now is show, showing you can use a custom date range over over all time we're gonna keep it as a as the old as over all time and if you run it we can can now run it okay so you can see the average daily vaccination per country if you go to the chart tab let's create a bar graph for this we set the country region to be on the x-axis we're gonna flip the columns and also for formatting the number to uh, the numbers after the decimal we can change it from the results tab if you click on this one you you're able to increase or de or decrease the decimal precision or keep two uh, numbers after the uh, after the decimal and you can see the changes here if you click on return covid-19 now you're able to see it on the on the dashboard and this is the filters the filter that controls it we're gonna create another new tile and now this one uh, we're gonna use the database for a number of uh, death a number of death over uh, in usa so it's imported from it's available the data is available from the ct underscore us covid tests as you can see, it has the country region uh, and the province state and the number of uh, dead people. I'm gonna get my query for to be executed here. If you run this query, we're, all, we're also using the date range interactive filter provided by Snowflake. So you can see the top five uh, province state uh, numbers we're gonna create a heat grid for this uh, query and we're gonna select the columns the rows to be the province state and the columns to be the sum of that we can show actually labels for the columns and for the rows we're gonna disable them and let's let's check it here on the dashboard itself you can easily drag and drop uh, the tiles to position them on your uh, in your dashboard and uh, let's also change the tiles uh, tiles label this one was for the uh, average daily vaccination i'm gonna change its name from here And this one is for the death count in US. Uh, tiles that are controlled by the global filter have this filter sign uh, beside the title at the tile heading whereas this global case does not include the filter because we didn't use the date range filter for it you can filter from here and apply the filter so those tiles will be updated as you can see this indicator here is is moving now it's updated and you can easily share this dashboard with uh, any with anyone with this link you just have to get the link and share it with them uh, this is this was the first video for the snow side. Uh, I hope it was beneficial and see you next time. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. And thank you for watching.